Hello everyone and welcome to Cineful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we've got a Moonstone Battle Report. I'm going to be playing with the Commonwealth, the humans, the general humans of the game. And Steven is going to be playing with the Dominion, focusing on the goblins. And of course, bringing the good old Goblin King. Moonstone is a fantastic game and we'll leave a link in the description down to the Goblin King's game website where you can pick up some Moonstone miniatures that are truly amazing. With that said, let's go check out the six models we're choosing in our warbands for this game of Moonstone today. Alrighty, and so here we have our six fighters for the Commonwealth. We have Quack, Agatha Tavenfrau, Flintlock, Eric the Squire, Baron Von Fancy Hat, and Friar Flavius. And then for the Dominion, we have the Goblin King, Doug the Flatulent, Vicious Midget, the Mortician, Beaky Bobby, and Ribold. Today's video is brought to you by Baron of Dice, a premium wargaming dice that make your table come alive. Now, if you're looking for some great dice to suit an army you play on the tabletop in a variety of different games, go to Baron of Dice and check out their website. You can also use our discount code down in the video's description, which will help support the channel, but also nab you a cheap little discount. The dice you see pictured here are the official dice for Parabellum's Last Argument of Kings and Conquest by them as well, which you can find on the Parabellum e-store as well. All right, so here is what the table looks like. Steven, you're going to drop the Moonstone to begin with, so drop for the first one. Um, am I happy with that? Hmm... Not really, considering both my side of four, so I'm going to mulligan it. So, I'm mulliganing it, so... I quite like that. Cool, Steven's liking not to mulligan the second drop, so we have three, 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 two, 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 and a three, all the way over there. Nice little spread. So, we'll get deploying the forces, and we'll come back after that. So, table is all deployed. We have Flintlock over here. We then have Quack, Agatha, and Friar Flavius. And of course, Eric along with his hero, Baron Von Fancy Hat. Uh, we then have the Doug Flatulent, the Mortician, Goblin King and Beaky Bobby in the center, the Vicious Midget, and Ribald on that side. All right, so first turn belongs to me. Uh, I've got the initiative, so I get to activate the first character. Uh, surprise, surprise. We're just going to go straight with Agatha using three energy to pick up a piece of Moonstone. Your activation. Alrighty, so Goblin King pretty much did the same thing. You move forward with your move, you then spent two, and then stepped forward another inch. Uh, so he, Goblin King has a piece of Moonstone as well. My activation. Friar Flavius is then just going to move up and start guarding our Moonstone. Uh, he's spending all three of his energy for extra steps, so he moves seven inch. And so Doug the Flatulent spends all his movement just to start getting out to the flank. Alright, so Flintlock, first of all, going to spend an energy to leap over the barricade, then moves his four for the turn. Now we're in range Doug, so we're going to spend our last energy for the turn to shoot. Alright, so Flintlock's shoot musket needs green anything, so I'm going to say... I've got three green. And what do you say? No. I'm not lying. And so, because he said I'm bluffing, I can play another card from my hand. Um, but you're lucky, it's only a once per... I have to reload my musket in order to do that. So I can't do anything else. So that'll just end Flintlock's activation. Alright, so your next activation after that. Duck took five wounds. He's only got three left. Right, so you've moved Ribald up. Uh, unfortunately, he's out of range to shoot, so I'll go next. I've got Quack and the hero couple over there. So Quack will just spend all three for an extra three steps. Uh, so he moves seven inch up there as well. Uh, you've got Vicious Midget, Goblin King, and Beaky Bobby to go. I've, got a, I've also got... Oh, and the Mortician. All right, so the Mortician has moved up there. He's in range to try and heal Doug the Flatulence. So what are you going to say? You need blues of anything? Mm-hmm. Uh, so what are you dropping? Blue two. You can have it. Let you heal three. Cool. So just heal three. 
All right, so Eric Squire, first of all, he's going to use his My Hero ability, which gives two energy to Baron Von Fancy Hat, and then he's going to move up five, spending his last point for an extra step. Uh, so you've Vicious Midget and Beaky Bobber to go. Mm -hmm. All right, Vicious Midget moves up there. Uh, so just a little Baron to go. Uh, so Baron Von Fancy Hat needs a green anything. Uh, so it's going to go green one. No. Hmm? No. Yeah, I am bullshitting. Do you have a catastrophe to play? Yep. Ouch, Baron's gonna take a catastrophe. Uh, and so after that calamitous taking three wounds from my catastrophe, I will reload my pistol though. And you're moving Beaky Bobby. And so Beaky Bobby just moves all his extra steps. So that is the turn at the end of the first round. So uh, we'll roll for initiative. I get plus two for the roll in this turn. So you got a three, you got a one, so I still get it. All right, so I've got the turn. Uh, so we're gonna go with Eric Squire first. We're gonna do field medic to begin with. All right, so Eric Squire, we are going to go with blue two. Cool. And then Eric, after healing two wounds on the Baron, will then go with my hero, spending his last two to give two to the Baron. Uh, your activation. All right, so Ribold has moved up. He's then shooting the Baron with his cannonball. So what are you calling? Green one. Uh, you can have it. I'm quite happy to take the one down in. Well, the... Yep, have it. Yep, he was telling the truth. Uh, so, Ribbon does 3x damage to Baron Von Fancy Hat, minus 1 uh, due to Ribbon's rule, but then minus 2 because it's non-magical damage, so Baron actually doesn't take any, but it does get shunted back an inch. Just takes the cannibal on the chest like a champ. So, Quack's moved up, uh, we're then going to throw our Blinding Powder at the Vicious Midget. Uh, so, Quack needs anything blue, uh, so... We're going to go with two blue being what I put down. What are you going to say about that with Quack? No. I am telling the truth. Uh, so that's Quack done. Vicious Midget is now down to one melee, one arcane. Effectively, he's not going to charge into combat anytime soon this turn. No. And so, smartly, he's now decided the Vicious Midget wants none of that fight there. Uh, so I will then go with Flintlock though. So Flintlock is going to reload at the start of the turn because he didn't reload last turn. I will then shoot my musket and I'm going to reload with my last MG if he's alive, I guess. Uh, so Flintlock needs green anything with shoot musket. We're going to go with green three. No. Uh, so Flintlock then just going to spend my last point to reload at the end of the turn yep. uh, so he's ready to go for next turn your activation alright so the mortician is moved up and then going to try and heal Doug uh, place your card and declare what you are going with blue 2 I want to call bullshit is that what you're saying? I want to, I want to. Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Ah. So go again. You can place another card in your hands. So what are we calling with this second card? Blue one. You can have that. I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> All right, so Agatha needs any color two for her ability to work. So we're going to go with green two. I'm going to give you that. Cool. So Ribold moves forward towards me and then Agatha takes a step. Uh, your activation. Alright, so Doug has moved up. He's going to try and dig up some Moonstone. So you're going to do his ability. Draws an Arcane card from the deck. One. So he just digs up one for that point. Uh, uh, you can go again with the same ability if you want. No, I've just spent two. Just spent two? Cool. Not worrying about. Do we have a Catastrophe as the next card? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the Baron is putting down his combat card. 
Uh, what are you going to need to do for yours? Alright, yours is down. I've gone with a thrust. You've gone rising attack, so thrust into rising attack. I do two to you, and but I take one. And so from that first one, I did three, but you minus one. And then you did one damage, but I minus two from my plate armor. Alright, I've put my card down. See what you can do with Ribold. Give us a minute. Uh, so we are done. So I've gone Falling Swing. You've gone Falling Swing as well. Now, Falling Swing is my specialty move. All right, so I am going to suffer a point of damage back from you, uh, or actually two point, three points of damage back from you, but I'm also going to deal two damage to you as well. So I'll take the hit, but deal damage to you. All right, so third attack out of four. Drop their cards. I've gone Falling Swing again. Falling swing again, so this means I can do the same thing again. Alrighty, so fourth and final attack from the Baron. Uh, what have you gone? I've got falling swing again. Sweeping cut. Now the downside for you is I'm going to crit it. Because I have both falling swings this time. So I can double the damage I do. So Ribold is then going to take six damage thanks to a crit with falling swing. Oh, actually... Does that change how much I take? I'll have to see. Does it increase? I don't know if I No. No, we're not going to special. So, the Baron has taken Ribold down. Uh, so, it is your activation now. Uh, that took a lot of effort. Baron almost died too. Alright, so Beaky Bobby spent an energy to jump over the fence, then went and grabbed the Moonstone after his move, and has just moved back an inch after that. Uh, I've got Friar Flavius, who's going to spend two to heal the Baron. Uh, so, I'm going to call a blue one. No. Tell the truth. Uh, so, Baron heals two. I uh, can choose to use the ability again. Um, so... I'm going to go with... Blue two. No. I am lying this time. So Friar Flavius will take two wounds instead. Uh, takes the catastrophe. So he'll take two wounds instead. Alright, so you've just got the Goblin King left to go. And that'll be the end of the round. So, now so that'll be the end of the round. Uh, so we'll do healing. Well, no healing. We'll do replenish, sorry. Alright, so replenish step done. So priority for the round. I only get plus one to my roll now, so I got a five. A three, I still keep the priority. So Eric's gonna try and heal the Baron. Uh, we're gonna go with one blue. No. I am lying, I don't have any fucking blue. Uh, so Eric will take two wounds on him, uh, but then we'll use my hero to give two energy to the Baron. Alright, so Eric then just uses my hero. Baron gets the extra two energy. Uh, so your turn. Alrighty, so the Mortician is using his reanimate. Uh, so what are we declaring? Two red. Yeah, you can have that. Um, yeah. So you place Rubolt in base contact with half his wounds back. Uh, and he can only move this tank because he doesn't have any energy. Uh, so, mine, I'm just going to move the Baron, and then we're going to spend my two energy, pick up the Moonstone with the Baron, and then we're going to step one inch back. So, being boom. Uh, so, Peaky Bobby is moved, and now he's going to try and heal Ribble. Uh So, you need, what do you need? Uh, blues. Yeah, blues anything? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. Blue. I'm just going to let you have it, because I don't want you healing both characters. Cool. Good call on my part. Uh, so, uh, how much did you say? Going for Beaky Bobby healing on Doug. What are we going to do? Blue two. You can have it because I don't want you healing it completely up. So, Doug heals three. Really simple. Agatha's just going to pick up second moonstone, spending all three of her energy. Uh, your turn. Uh, so you move Doug up, I then just move 
Quack in contact with the Moonstone, then spend three, so he picks up the Moonstone. So, Friar Flavius trying to heal Baron. Uh, we are going to go with Blue 2. No. Not lying. So, the Baron heals X plus one, so he heals three. Takes him down to one. I can then play another card from my hand if I want. Um, so we are going to try and heal Eric the Squire this time. Blue 2 again. You can have that one. I'm not lying again, so good call. Uh, so Eric has all his wings healed. Uh, so Eric's back, Baron's only got one. Uh, so that is that. Uh, your activation, you've just got Vicious Midget behind there and the Goblin King to go. Uh, so Flintlock first of all has moved back. We're then going to take aim, shoot our musket. Uh, so we are going to declare green or one. I'll let you have it. Yep, that is all I'm doing. So just two damage. Uh, this is magical, so two damage to Ribald. Alright, so now it's just a roll-off to see who's going to get priority for the... Oh no, you still got the Goblin King to go before we do roll-off. So do the Goblin King. And now we go into the roll-off. I got a one... You got a two, you finally got it. So you get priority, so you get the first activation. Who's got Moonstone? So the Goblin King has moved up. He's seen Agatha's got all the Moonstone, so he's going to try and deal with it. Uh, so let's see what we get. I have High Guard, you have Rising Attacks, so we go off yours. Uh, so you deal two damage to me, uh, but High Guard is my specialty ability. So, uh, because of that, I because of my Hell Hath No Fury, I get to make a follow-up. So I'm going to do Rising Attack. Agatha will now take another wound, so that means she takes three, but she will, thanks to this being a Piercing Attack, do two damage to the Goblin King. Uh, so that's the Goblin King, so I'm actually going to go then with Quack. Alright, so Quack's throwing Blinding Powder at the Vicious Midget again. I'm going to go with a Blue 2. No. I'm not lying. So that means he's minus 4 to everything, and I get to go again. I'm going to this time target the Goblin King with it and go blue one. Yeah. I know you've got it. And so the Goblin King is minus two on both his evade and that now. And I'm going to end it there. So Quack's second energy after using the Blinding Powder successfully will be to do a Foresight on Eric the Squire. This will allow the target to get plus two Arcane for the rest of the turn. So Eric's now got Arcane of five, which will be good for his healing. Uh, and then Quack's going to stab the Goblin King. And so lastly, Quack will actually fight the Goblin King, who is only melee one. Uh, so, well, put your card down. What card are you going to choose? I'm going to choose that one. <laughs> um, so I'm going to choose that. Let's see what we get. Uh, so I've got Falling Swing. you got Rising Attack. So Falling Swing against Red. You're really bad for the Goblin King, because I do three damage to you with that, and I crit it. So, first of all, we minus, so that's going to do. Uh, and so that actually kills the Goblin King Quack. <laughs> Go Quack, he has been amazing this game. Uh, actually kills and drops the Moonstone. Uh, so, your activation. So, Doug just moves in. I'm then going to, with Agatha, move, spend an energy, and then step two inches back. So Agatha has all the Moonstone. And so with those two inches moved there, and you could potentially kill someone with the Goblin King, uh, not the Goblin King, Vicious Midget, but the fact that Quack blinded him, I think makes him pretty much not going to do anything. We just saw what happened to Goblin King then. Uh, I can't shoot with Ribald even if I was in range. Yeah, and Ribald's out of range for the turn, so it will be a victory to the Commonwealth. Agatha's going to go make some Moonstone moonshine. 
Today's battle report is also brought to you by Mithras Games. Fantastic tabletop wargaming mats out of New Zealand. Now, Mithras Games has a variety of different mats. We've got the fantastic Desert Red, the nice Tundra Green, and the frosty Ice Blue here as well. All of these mats are a really nice high quality, generally very similar to how you would get your uh, mouse pads for your mats. Uh, but fantastic high quality mats. We love them. Mistress Games are a fantastic supporter of the channel. You can pop on over to their website, especially if you're a local to Australia or New Zealand. They're a fantastic company to help support. And so that is the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment down below letting us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you did enjoy the video and want to chat more with our little community here at Cinderful Gaming, we have a Discord server which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel, which is either via Patreon or YouTube members, where you'll get yourself a shout out like all these people will in just a second, but also you can help support the channel and help dictate where we're going to go with the channel. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel and grab yourself something, you can grab some channel merch as well from Teespring or Kofi, both of which as well are linked down in the video's description. Like I said, a special thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lowell, Alderon Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Kaner, Bloobs, Benjamin Swallows, Red Martin, Iron Grinch, Nuss, and Nicholas Colomos. Also to our YouTube members, Green Rich Gaming, Ronya, Lock Lorik, The Johnny 84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Mankiller, Monty's Tabletop Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, James South, Dave Crozier, Dylan Arino, and James Tillman. Lastly, a special thank you to Lady Witch Fox Art, who does all the amazing artwork you see pictured here and indeed all over the channel. And also a special thank you to everyone who helps with the battle reports, everyone who helps with miniatures supplying and everything for the channel, including running our Discord server. Thank you all so much once again, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.